Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Vino Optics Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about taboo and being naked in private parts. Now, one thing you'll notice is that I'm nearly naked. And this is actually breaking a taboo because I'm in front of people. I'm sort of semi in public. Now, I could wear this at the beach or at a pool or at a pool party and it's totally fine. The rules for taboos are quite specific. Something can be totally fine, but in another context, it's totally not fine. Now, I should probably put on something because this is strictly inappropriate. Taboos are very strong. Once there's taboos in, human, in the human mind, it's not exactly clear why it's so strong. But once these taboos are here, it's very hard to get rid of the taboos. They stick with us. And so all of us who think of us as reasonable people share this taboo that you shouldn't be in underwear in public circumstances. And we rarely even think that we should have to defend it. But at the moment, we have a push for a new kind of taboo, a new kind of private part that we never really thought of as a private part, at least in the West, and that's face masks. When you go out into public, the new rule is that if you're at the table at a restaurant, you are in a private space and you can take it off. You walk from the hostess to your table, though, that's public, you gotta have it on. You wanna go to the bathroom, you better put it on. There's particular rules for where you have to have it on because you are in public, and it is thereby a private part in those circumstances. You can feel the shame almost coming up inside you if you walk from your table to the bathroom and you don't have it on, you know that they're looking at you, they might particularly, they might scold you because your private part, which is contextual, is showing. Now, you could have a debate as to whether we should have private parts for our chests and our other parts of our body in these various circumstances, but at least covering up my chest and other body parts is relatively, you know, it's not bothering me very much in the sense that I don't breathe with my chest or my, my stomach or my back. I don't express myself, and there's multiple ways that we express ourselves. We do it by talking, but much more fundamentally, we do it with our emotional expressions, which is almost entirely in our face, which is both the colors on your face and all of the emotional facial expressions. And the next book with Dr. Tim Barber and myself is called Unmasked and is about the origins of emotional expressions and the power and what they mean. You cover your face, you're covering over the connection between one human, one deeply social animal, and another, making it impossible to both hear them and to capture these signals which undergird and regulate our social behavior. And it also blocks our identity. A bunch of guys in a row can have our chests showing and you're not going to recognize by virtue of our chest our recognition systems are designed to recognize people by their faces primarily, and those are covered over as well. Maybe it's, we shouldn't have this taboo of clothing, maybe we should, but a taboo that makes it so that this is a private part and it's being covered up has hosts and hosts of consequences for what it is to be human and should be stopped.